Hey guys, Jack on Wrist here, back with another video. And in today's video, I wanna talk about my Rolex purchasing experience from eBay. Many of you might know that eBay has their own authenticity guarantee program, where basically if you buy any watch from eBay for over $1,000 from any seller, it gets shipped to a private authenticator before it gets shipped to you. And essentially that uh, private authenticator would check out the watch, make sure that the quality and the condition matches up with what the seller said, um, and then ship it off to you. Uh, and so this is a very interesting program because there seems to be sort of a vagueness to the program. No one really knows exactly what they do to these watches. Do they open them up? Do they just sort of inspect them? Do they inspect them at all? Uh, we're gonna be getting into that today and I'm gonna be talking about my overall experience with this program. As I mentioned earlier, I did just purchase a new Rolex, which I'll be showing off in this video as part of this eBay program. Uh, and so I'll be going over my experience, showing off the watch. Um, and then in a future video, I will be doing a full review of this particular watch. So without further ado, let's go ahead and flip the camera, show off the watch, and talk about the nitty gritty details of this eBay program. All right, so here is the outer box. This is just a classic last generation uh, Rolex outer box. And here is the inner box, many people are very familiar with. Um, and opening it up, you can see this is the watch, a Rolex Explorer reference 114270. Uh, so that is not the focus of today's video, although I definitely enjoy this watch a lot really really like it and it's a beautiful example of sort of the last generation 36 millimeter model um, but we'll do a separate review on that and talk about you know why i picked this watch uh, later uh, but talking about the details of the program the ebay authenticity guarantee program uh, the first thing you'll notice when you open up the box is that you will see the watch has a sort of red tape uh, layer thing on it I'll try to put a picture of that uh, if I can find one. I quickly uh, took it off and forgot to take a picture. Uh, but basically what it says on it is that if you take it off, you can no longer return the watch. So, you know, that is proof that they definitely do open up the box, take a look at the watch, and at least, at the very least, put on a sticker. So uh, I guess that's, you know, one point for the eBay program. Um, you know, I don't know, again, if they really do anything else other than put that sticker on there, uh, which we'll get to, you know, why I think that. Um, but they do at least put that sticker on there. And then otherwise, the only other real sort of thing you have to show for the program is this. This is the uh, authenticity guarantee card. Um, now it's pretty cool to have a physical card that tells you that this watch is authenticated, uh, but you know, I really don't know if they do much to the watch. And so kind of getting into why I think that, um, if you look at the timesheet I'm gonna be posting on screen here um, of the tracking number and when the uh, authenticator received the watch and when they shipped it out, you can see it's a pretty tight window from the time they receive it to the time it goes out to me. Uh, I believe, I don't see it in front of me, but I believe it said it was 12, 12 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time that they received the watch. And then it says 12, 18 p.m. Uh, is the time that was shipped back out to me. So in that time, doesn't have a time zone on it, but um, what that basically tells me is that this watch was received and shipped out in a matter of either minutes or at the best case scenario uh, within a matter of hours, which is still not a lot of time considering they have a lot of watches they need to review and look at and make sure are authentic. Uh, so that is sort of my clue that they may not be taking their time and actually looking at these watches in great detail. Now, that could be a positive because that means they they might not be actually looking at the you know inner workings of the watch and, and opening it up, which I know a lot of people uh, were concerned about. I would personally also not want them to really mess around and open it up. However, um, you know I really can't say if they are properly doing their due diligence and authenticating these watches. Now I'm lucky, um, I'm fortunate. I bought this from the Watch Box. This is their personal warranty card. Um, so I, you know, have a lot of trust that this is a real watch, you know, without any real issues. Um, but many people find great deals on watches from random people and they want to know that these watches are real and eBay may not actually be properly checking them out. You know, I've seen other videos of people saying that uh, the watches they received um, were sort of inconsistent with what they expected. Um, you know, they had the wrong bracelet uh, from the original issue of the watch and yet eBay um, didn't have any real uh, questions about it. They, they didn't, uh, you know, it went through the process without any issue. Um, and so, you know, I really am a little nervous to, uh, to think about what they might be actually doing. Um, and like I said, you know, it's cool. You have your serial number and all your information on here with the card they provide. 
um, but this is really it. This is the only thing you really get that shows that this watch was looked at. And again, who even knows if it was really looked at. Um, so personally, I don't find this program to be that useful. I wish you could actually just you know check a box if you wanted it or not. Um, and more importantly, I wish they actually had more proof that they were properly looking at the watch and maybe took pictures or you know explained why they found it to be authentic or inauthentic. Um, because right now it's a very vague process and it goes to some random place and they just look at it for a few minutes to a few hours and you know that's it. So um, my ask from eBay would be to clear this up uh, and sort of add uh, you know some depth to what they're doing uh, beyond just you know a tracking number um, and that's probably the only way I think they could change this program to be beneficial otherwise it's just vague and um, you know I really don't know what they do so um, uh, you know overall a good buying experience because I have the sort of watch box guarantee behind it but um, you know I, I wish I could uh, you know say that other people would have a similar experience but that's not uh, the case at least it seems to be not the case for other people so um, that's pretty much this video that's it if you enjoyed and found it informative please like and subscribe i'd greatly appreciate it um, with that being said i'll catch you guys in the next one